What's up, what's going on y'all? It's me back again today with another YouTube video. The topic of today is gonna to be the abundance mindset or the importance of the abundance mindset. Now guys, if you are new here, my name is actually Navoy. I'm actually a personal trainer, well, online trainer from uh, Florida, but I actually live over here in Germany. So if you're looking for your personal training needs, you know, you're tired of the other online coaches, you know, dancing in your videos, go ahead and check out all my links below. We can get you right. But guys, one of the things that's really going to be very important for your success is going to be the fact that you're going to need to adopt an abundance mindset. Now, guys, usually, you know, with the RP, you know, them guys on the, that side of YouTube, you know, they talk about abundance mindset a lot. Now, they talk about it mainly with women, meaning that, you know, if you meet a woman, she's not acting cooperative. You, you know, you can just walk away and then go on ahead and meet another woman. Now, guys, and I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with it. That's actually the right way. But. I would say in another sense of the abundance mindset side of the game is, or at least in terms of success, you need to have the mindset that you're going to always be able to find another client. For example, in my case with online coaching, you're going to always be able to find another opportunity. You're going to always be able to find another job and it's so, so far and so forth, you know? Because in my life, you know, I'm 31 now, you know, I don't, I don't look it obviously, but as being 31 years old, man, one of the things that I've learned in my life is a lot of the times you hold on to certain things due to fear, specifically if, lack of abundance. So you have the fear or at least the thought of there being a lack of abundance. So you're going to hold on to certain things. People do this with relationships all the time, guys. I've done this myself. The longest relationship I was ever in, I only really stayed in there because it was a lack of abundance mindset. I literally thought, okay, I didn't think that I, I thought, I knew I could probably find someone else, but at the same time, certain characteristics the person had, you know, I didn't believe that I could find in other people. But you know, obviously that's just a scarcity. But most importantly, when it comes to success, especially with business or life, guys, you need to have that belief that you'll be able to get whatever it is that you want because there's always gonna be another bus coming. You know, they always talk about this with women a lot. And I've experienced this personally myself in my life. Guys, you, even if you're dealing with a chick and you know she's not acting right, or at least you're starting to kind of act crazy, you can always walk away and usually the next girl is usually a lot better and a lot easier to deal with. And it's the same thing with business, it's the same thing with life. Guys, I remember with, I was working a job, maybe my two jobs before what I am now, what I'm doing now. Besides the online coaching, you know, I got into my nine to five. So when I was working that job, I didn't think it would get any better. I really loved my coworkers, man. Like I legitimately liked my coworkers a lot. I still actually am in contact with them. Workers, we actually, you know, my old coworkers, I still in contact with them. Sometimes we'd be playing Call of Duty or sometimes I'd go meet up with them to go eat. So they were actually really close, but that job, it was right before the, you know, the virus. So right after the virus hit, then I lost my job and I didn't think to at the time I'm like I always had an abundance mindset with jobs but I didn't think I would be able to find that kind of arbeit well arbeit I'm over here speaking in German the work atmosphere that I had over there and ironically that next job it paid me way more and I actually had to work less but the work atmosphere was missing and I was really miserable like I was making a bunch of money but I really did not like my job I really didn't like my coworkers. because I didn't like the environment it's kind of one of those situations where you go in there and, you know, you're kind of the new kid in the class. You know, I'm not a ugly guy. So, you know, you realize, you know, the women are choosing and the dudes don't like it. And it kind of was like from there on out, I was kind of the outcast. But at that job, I was there for, I think, two years. And eventually they offered me a contract, but I didn't really want to take the contract. And I kind of just took the risk. And eventually I ended up getting the job that I have now, which is the, literally the same field. I have way more responsibility, but most importantly, I really like my coworkers. Like it's that vibe from the job where I had liked my coworkers. Literally today I'm in the office, me and one of my coworkers literally just joking most of the day. And it, it helps the work go by a lot quicker. And you know, it, it has more of a family atmosphere. You know, obviously guys, I live alone. So going to work usually is kind of a nice way to socialize besides the gym, obviously. And years ago, I would have never thought I'd been able to find another work environment that I actually really like. But the only reason I thought this way was because I had a scarcity mindset, guys. You need to adapt the abundance mindset. Like that's the only way you're gonna be able to really get to where you wanna be in life. Specifically, that's the only way you're gonna be able to achieve that success is by having that abundance mindset. You're gonna have to think to yourself, okay, I might not see the path or at least see what I wanna get right now, but eventually I'm gonna get it. Like with the online coaching guys, I remember, I've said this in previous videos before, but when I started it, 
I started it not too long after the virus because the stock market was basically done. So I thought to myself, okay, how do I make money in a different way? So at the time I had to invest a lot of paper. Like I invested, I think maybe 1500, 1600 and I had no clients. I had no idea whether or not this was gonna work, but I had that self belief, but most importantly that abundance mindset, knowing that people would want to vibe with me they like they do with these YouTube videos or like with my reels on Instagram and that they would want to work with me and with me be their coach and guys it's paid dividends so far I have you know I'm doing all right you know I can get some extra donor flash on my on my donor when I go to eat you know I'm doing decent with the online coaching but I would have never been able to do that if I didn't have that abundance mindset and guys I want you guys to have that too be able to believe in yourself but most importantly believe in the fact that there's always going to be another opportunity around the corner as long as you stay prepared but most importantly you have that self-belief that you will achieve that next opportunity guys so that's all I got to say today make sure to uh, like subscribe leave a comment and most importantly, as we always say here, make sure to control the negative, focus on the positive. It's your boy Navoy, repping Navoy Vincent Fitness. I'm out.